So today I'm going to do my informational speech on scuba diving. I don't know about you guys, but it is something I am like so fascinated with. I went once in the Bahamas and it was like the coolest experience of my life. So I thought I should learn more about it, so I did. Uh, the first thing I have for you guys is a video. Oh. All right. Awesome background music. Yeah. Awesome background music. behind scuba diving. Uh, there's funny, there's this old tale about, uh, I don't really know how to say this, I don't know if it's Herodotus? Herodotus? Yeah, I don't know. Right. He told the story of this guy Silas, a Greek sailor who used, to, uh, who used a reed to breathe as he cut mooring lines in the Persian ships. So the entire tale, or true story, I don't really know, um, is this Greek guy was taken captive, put on this ship, uh, by Persians, and when he heard that they were going to go and attack the Greeks, uh, this guy jumped out of the ship, took a knife, and um, he went overboard, kind of exploded. They thought that he was dead. They just assumed that he drowned, but really he had a reed which was keeping him having oxygen. Um, and then he made his way back onto the boat at night time and cut off all the ships so they couldn't go and attack the Greek, and then uh, he went away and swam back to the Greek island. and. <laughs> They used uh, a hollow reed as a snorkel, so that's kind of where they got the idea um, and how scuba diving began. Um, so here we have kind of the outline. Sorry, I'd walk up and show you guys, but struggling over here. Just a laser uh, point. 500 BC. You're right. I could, which is this it, one. It, yeah, oh, the shiny yeah. side up. There you go. This is great. Yeah. I think it's so official. So in 500 BC, they had the breath hold, which is literally a breath hold. They wouldn't have anything except for just diving. Hold your breath, come back up. You couldn't get very deep. Obviously, you didn't have any oxygen. A uh, diving bell. They created um, a thing for your head, like in these, and this would be um, what you would go underwater as. It wouldn't have fresh oxygen running into them, so it was literally just whatever air you had in it was all you had. You could probably go under for like maybe two minutes. Uh, first effective air pump dive happened in 1650. Uh, decompression sickness cure found. A little information, if you rise up underwater from like a deep altitude um, and you come right back up, a deep altitude, opposite, it's down low, <laughs> um, you come back, air pockets compile under your skin so you can have like a huge lump here and it often happens, it, it often happens in your neck, you'll get a huge, huge lump there. So that's uh, 1875, they found this sickness, cure, um, which is where it just, they go and flood you with liquids and they decompress you with um, a whole bunch of air. Um, 1930, face masks, fins, and snorkels are now commonly used. And in 1943, the first open circuit uh, scuba apparatus was actually workable. So you see these pictures, it just like, it changes so drastically, like this looks like a horror film. <laughs> And so does this, this looks like a monster, but this is literally what they went underwater with. They honestly would go and have air come kind of channeling it through there. 
Um, and then we come here where we have the actual aluminum um, air tank. And nowadays we have like so much. They have awesome masks that like can adapt to anything, uh, as well as the tank. So you can just see how far actual scuba diving has come. It's crazy. And it's such a wide variety of time too. Uh, deepest dive, this is crazy. This man uh, in Egypt went to the Red Sea and in 12 minutes he went down uh, 1,090 feet, which is insane. Like that is about as deep as New York City Chrysler building is tall, which I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but I did and it is massive. It's crazy. I would not want to go into water where there's uncharted territory that deep. Definitely not my thing, but yeah, that's the deepest dive, and people are just astounded by that. This guy is still a champ. Uh, diving jobs. You can get jobs in scuba, jobs in scuba diving, which is crazy. Uh, you can be with a search force, so that could be from just, like, finding, like, <coughs> bombs. You can find bombs that have been lodged. Uh, you can find things that people have dumped in the water, whether it's drugs, whether it's uh, arm, like, arm, arm-handed. I don't know if you say that, like, guns or any sort of... Uh, bad things like that, or you can find bodies, which is a rough one. I read a lot about that, where people actually go deep sea diving for uh, dead bodies, which is rough. Underwater photographer, which is this guy here. Uh, scientific diving and salvage diving, which I'm going to talk about salvage diving a little bit later, uh, where you go and you find artifacts and stuff. But yeah, really cool jobs, people. Love it. So a little bit of fun facts. Once you go t below 10 meters in depth, you can't see uh, red or yellow. So if you bleed underwater, you're seeing blue. Uh, really weird. Your eyes, I guess, just play tricks on you underwater. Uh, scuba stands for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. It's not anything cool. It literally just stands for that. Exactly. Uh, sound travels ten, five times faster underwater. Uh, and really cool. I thought this was awesome because I, for some reason, had thought that the Titanic has never been found. When in fact, it has been. And the director of the Titanic has been on 33 dives totaling 462 hours as research for his film. So that's kind of cool. Uh, treasure hunting, people have found crazy amounts of money. If you want to uh, treasure dive, this is the thing to do. Uh, in Florida, people found $4.5 million in gold coins uh, that were dated back to 1700s. Uh, a 2000 old wreck was found in Greece. So crazy things, they found jewels, which are huge money, furniture. And you just think these things have been underwater, they're old artifacts. And the Titanic, uh, that was found in 1985. So there's a bunch of stuff to be found and to do underwater for scuba diving. Uh, but yeah, that kind of wraps it all up. I hope you guys found out a little bit more about scuba diving.